Hello everyone and welcome to this week's science experiment. It's time for a science experiment. So this is what you need for this week's science experiment. Two paper or plastic cups, two larger cups, cold water, hot water, and a little thumbtack. So what we want to do is first take our thumbtack and either our paper or plastic cup we're just going to put a little hole in the bottom of each. Just like that. And we want to do that with the other cup as well. Next, what you want to do is put one cup on top of one, and one cup on top of the other. That way, you have plenty of room to let some water drip down into the larger cup. Now what we're going to do is take our hot water, pour it into one, and take our cold water and pour it into the other, and we're gonna, they're gonna race. We wanna see which one is gonna get there the fastest. But before we do that, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me which one you think is gonna drip faster. All right, here goes nothing. Can y'all see that? So you might be asking yourself, what is going on here? Why is one dripping faster than the other? According to this book, molecules move faster in hot water than in cold water. So the faster they move, the easier it is for them to slip past each other. And that's why hot water is more likely to leak than cold. And now I'm going to add some ice into the cold one. And now let's see what happens. Okay guys, so I'm going to call this experiment a fail. And that's because I have a book here that has a list of science experiments. And in this book it says to put your paper cup on top of your other cup right there and see which one drips faster. The problem is that whenever you put one cup on top of the other, it restricts all of the airflow coming out of the jar that needs to be displaced for the water to go in. So nothing actually happens. What you saw me do was lift it up to get the drip going again, as you can see right there. The other thing that went wrong with this experiment is that I don't think the cold one's going slower than the fast one, or vice versa. And if you look at what's already been done, the cold has definitely dripped more than the fast. So this science experiment is not making any sense to me at all. Epic fail. And now for an update on last week's science experiment, we actually see growth coming out of the jar right here. This is extremely exciting. I believe that this is the first sign that this experiment is actually working. And then taking a look at the other side, we see that the same spillover is happening on the jar. So it shouldn't be long before we see something growing on the string. And like I said last week, if you want to follow this experiment on a day-to-day -day basis, Follow me on my vlogging channel at youtube.com slash thefunnyrats. Make sure to subscribe. We look at this experiment every day. And also, make sure you subscribe to this channel too, my main channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you like science experiments, if you like iPhone apps, and if you like roller coasters, that's what you're going to get here. Plus a little extra on the side every now and again. Now, I did notice that our water level is getting a little low right here, so we are going to fill that up to the top so that the formations can continue to grow. Same thing on the other side as well. All right, now we're gonna wait another week and see what happens. It may not mean anything to you, but it means something to me. It would be